All right, guys, I've got my um, video thing uh, fixed here for recording. And um, so I'm going to show uh, how you can actually include uh, two components within one page and get them both to show uh, at the same time, as well as having uh, HTML on that page uh, still show up and, and not be replaced. So the first thing I'm going to show is the actual uh, components. So we have a login component. And the login component is just a regular component. And in this case, uh, because of the way the login component um, seems to function, uh, I will not be making any other changes to this at all. So we go ahead and close that. And now this other um, component is um, not a login component. And so we are going to be making a change to uh, this, you'll see that the controls are a basic panel card structure with a header and a footer. And uh, so a couple buttons. And uh, so I go to properties and I scroll down here to, uh, what the heck is it? I scroll down here to advanced and I go down to render position type for UX component with panels. And we have to make sure that this is set to, uh, element okay uh, if it's set to window it's going to replace everything um, so it needs to be set to element we need to set a div that is going to be within the a5w page that this component is going to populate and so i'm calling that my div one and we would save those changes close and then i would go to my index page which is going to have both components um, uh, loaded and um, uh, you'll notice I have another page down here called Section 1A5W. So uh, Section 1A5W is actually going to be loaded in an iframe in index. And Section 1A5W is the one that has the login component in it. Okay, so this has the login component uh, by itself um, without any changes whatsoever in an A5W page. And then, uh, and you could do any component this way, but um, anyway, I put the login component in there. And then on the index page, what you'll notice is, um, let me go to source here real quick, is we have our one panel card that we are actually going to be inputting directly uh, into this code using the uh, my div one. So if I've got a div, all I got to do is put an ID in there with the div ID that I set within that component. And then I got to make sure this information here is within that same div, and then it will fill that div. Um, no problem. Now, then what I did in order to get a second one on the page, I added an iframe. Now with the iframe, you can sit there and adjust the height and the width of it and things of that nature, um, overflow a variety of settings. Uh, for styles or whatever, but in this case, um, all I did was set width to three inches, height to three inches, and I am calling, I'm going to fill this iframe with the other A5W page. So now if I close this and I go ahead and do a live test and make sure I'm selecting index there, what you'll see is that it goes ahead and returns both the, uh, the A5, the, the index A5W page uh, HTML for the header and footer. It also returns the uh, panel card component that is embedded directly into the A5W page. And it returns the uh, iframe uh, with the login component there. So uh, in any case, this is an example of, of how you can get multiple components on the one A5W page uh, while retaining um, any external HTML, header and footer information, or, or wrapper type information that you want uh, to display uh, to the user. And that's it.